freaking crap, dude. What the heck? Oh my gosh. Yo, this is so sick. Dude, look at how nice this fish is. Guys. All right, yo, what's up guys? Chiefs here, and today, today's video, okay. We're gonna be trying to catch a steelhead as usual. It's been pretty tough recently, I'll be honest. I haven't caught a steelhead, guys, in almost three weeks. I haven't really been grinding too hard. There's not really a whole lot to grind for as of right now. I've been struggling, I've, I've had some business I gotta handle, and I'll be honest, man, I keep telling you guys I'm gonna upload every week and all this stuff. Maybe I'll be able to follow through on that commitment a little bit more when, when the, the fishing's a little bit more consistent, but for right now, at least until things start to warm up a little bit, I can't really promise it or tell you exactly when every single video is gonna be from here on out. Something I wanted to mention, a lot of you guys always ask me like, yo, what do you do? Like, you, like I, I see your fishing videos and I look up Chiefs on Instagram and there's gaming stuff. If you guys didn't know, I stream full time on twitch.tv. And if you guys ever wanna come out and check out a stream, I'll leave a link below. It's Chiefs live on Twitch. I go live every day at 12 p.m. Eastern. If you guys are interested in gaming, I've had a couple people coming out to my streams telling me that they've been watching my fishing videos and they had no idea that I gamed and now they watch every single day. So if you guys wanna be one of those people, if you're interested in gaming, stop by, say what's up sometime, but let's get to it guys. We got about an hour and a half drive ahead of us. All right, let's get it, man. Please, can we get one? For real. Still hard. No way. Beautiful. Nice, nice hat. Can we tail it? Beach on the beach. Let's go. Right, I'm gonna carry back to that. Let's go, let's go, guys. Nice hand steelhead right here. Just took that spawn bag all day. The white bag too. Interesting. Guys, I work so hard for this fish. It's I think it's like 2:30, 3 o'clock right now. Started at 7 a.m. All right, show you guys right here. Keeping her wet.
beautiful fish, man. Absolutely beautiful fish. Nice and chrome. Really don't know how long this thing's probably been in the river. All right, let's get the release on her. That was awesome. Let's see if we can get another one. I still got, I don't even know. What time is it? Three o'clock. We still got three hours. Just about three hours of daylight. So I'm gonna pack it up, hit the next hole. I'm gonna try to see if I can find some runs that are similar to, to what I just caught that fish in and keep on moving. All right guys, so I just kind of pulled up on a fairly, pretty similar spot to how or pretty similar spot to what I just caught that steelhead at. Can run a little bit smaller of a bag. So let's give this a couple casts. See what's over here. No, again, back to back. What? This one's way bigger. What the heck? Holy crap, holy crap. I don't like this. I, don't like this I cannot believe that. I have to put it to him. Oh no. Can't let this fish get downstream, dude. Can't let this fish get downstream. Can't let this fish get downstream, dude. Gotta pull this fish up. Oh my god. Dude, this is a big one. Holy crap. Dude. Holy crap, the river's getting deep. The river is getting deep on me. Okay. Can't believe I got this thing. Oh dude, there's a nice one. Oh, so is this a buck? No kidding. What's a hen? I got it. Oh uh, do I gotta surf this thing? Oh my god. No way. No way. There's no way. Oh my gosh. There's no freaking dude. Yo. Yo. What? Are you kidding? I'll make this quick again. Trying to be as best as I can about releasing this fish. I know a couple freaking people been on my case a little bit, but holy freaking crap, dude. What the heck? Oh my gosh. Yo, this is so sick. Dude, look at how nice this fish is. Guys, this thing is a, <laughs> this thing's a tank, man. This thing is a tank. That first one, I was like, all right, we got a nice, we got a nice respectable fish here, you know? And then, uh, I swear to God, two casts later. Dude, this thing's a blimp. This thing is a blimp, guys. <sighs> Bro, this one, I'd say this one's probably pushing closer to that 10 range. Probably eight pounds, eight, nine pounds all day. Just absolute bullet, man. Just an absolute bullet. Gonna let her off into the sunset, man. Oh. Doesn't show up how prone that fish is. 
Alright. She's ready. She's ready. There she goes. Whole dude. Seriously? Seriously. I just caught those two fish within 20 yards of each other. And I haven't caught a fish in three weeks. And I just caught those two casts, or those two fish within three casts. I, dude, I don't even know what to say. This is insane. I, I don't get how I go from, I go from not catching a fish for three weeks to catching two within three casts. I just, I don't get that. That's just insane to me. Just, All right guys, so since I know I'm gonna get asked about it, I'm gonna go over my rig right now. I, I'm sorry. I, I, I just kind of thought that you guys uh, already kind of pretty much assumed you like already knew what rig I was running in all my videos because like I've kind of like re-explained the same one a couple times but I'll go over briefly just the setup I'm running today pretty simple we got the John Milner Kingfisher it's a five inch reel we've got the mags custom rain shadow rx8 I believe it's a 12 foot or a 12 and a half foot rod we've got blood run main line right here 23 pound main line down to the terminal tackle end of things actually have a plunger float from blood run this is a 15 gram float we've got a clear piece of surgical tubing up top and i actually have two pieces of surgical tubing this is actually something i've started doing to my rigs recently um, i've got a small black piece of surgical tubing i like to press it up right up against the very bottom of the float it helps it keep it fixated and it kind of secures your stem a little bit more because your stems are pretty easily breakable with really regardless of any kind of float you have um, we got that running back down to another clear piece. We have a size five water gremlin split shot. Sorry, it's covered in snow, but we've got four more size five water gremlin split shot. Micro swivel, our leader line. We have stupid freaking trees in the way. Sorry guys. We have uh, eight pound sunline super fluorocarbon sniper line. And yeah, we got about probably I'd say Probably close to two and a half foot, three foot liter right here. Three size A3 uh, blood run. We have three, God, bro. Can't freaking stand up right now. We got three size A3 split shot from blood run. And then we also have a, uh, a BB split shot right there. And after that shot pattern, we've got it running down to a size six Raven wide gape hook with a spawn bag. And this is actually Atlas Mike's pink spawn netting with Potsky premium trout eggs. First time I've ever even tried them. I ran out of my spawn and uh, yeah, so I had to go buy some bait and sure enough, it got the job done. So might actually start using it a little bit more. This, this is the first time I actually tried it. So that's pretty sweet. Um, but yeah, we just got that snelled onto that hook right there pretty basic setup and something I want to share with you guys is like you guys always ask me like what my shot pattern is and stuff like that and it's like shot pattern is something that you adjust based on you know whatever kind of run you're fishing maybe a deeper hole if you need to get your for example if you got to get your if you got to flush your bait down to the bottom quicker you might want to slide your shot down closer to your hook so it kind of sinks it down slow even presentations like a nice slow run you want a nice taper it really depends on the fish. It really depends on the spot that you're fishing. So I, I'm not going to say like, you know, use this, the shot pattern because it's, it's really not one size fits all, but pretty simple rigged. I mean, this is, this is your pretty much your standard go-to float fishing setup. Whenever it comes to fishing spawn sacks, we got one on the white bag and then we got one on the peach just now. So, um, I figured I'd share that with you guys, but we're racing daylight now. So going to get back to it.